Hi, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two as two old guys review the Vintage Film Channel. Great channel. You've got to got to go to vintagefilmchannel.com and YouTube slash Vintage Film Channel and watch some of these great videos and old movies that uh, Gracie has put up there, collected, digitized, put up there. Today, we're going to talk about a unique genre to television, the game show genre, yeah. specifically a classic. This is one of the most famous game shows ever called the $64,000 question. Right. And, and quite frankly, one of the interesting things about all of these game shows and why, uh, uh, and I know she has a couple up there, uh, but the $64,000 question actually is sort of like the, 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 the one that covers them all in the early days, because in the dictionary, there's a definition for that's the $64,000 question. So out of this, out of this whole genre, Okay, came <laughs> that phrase, which I guess is still used from time to time today, but probably from older people that rather than younger yeah. people. But whether whether you get to the modern day versions of things like uh, Jeopardy, or right. they they have a, a whole bunch. Of, I we just filled in other people have had this like blue looking studio where they had a lot of people asking questions. <laughs> Excuse me. Isn't it? Thank you. Uh, we hear it. We hear it. Celebrating Act Two, celebrate a good sneeze. Right, and, and quite frankly, you can tell that uh, John, who normally writes out scripts, doesn't. Okay, <laughs> would have put a, a sneeze in there, and I probably yeah. wouldn't have been able to sneeze on cue. He's the actor. <laughs> John, sneeze on cue. Uh, uh, uh. All right, listen. Okay. Uh, the the <laughs> picture you see on your screen is what made. The $64,000 question famous. Well, right. actually, what made it famous is the game show uh, uh, scandals. scandals. right? Yeah, but this is the isolation booth. And this was a big gimmick for this one. I, I remember when this show was on the air, no other shows had an isolation booth. And you would, you would answer questions. You'd build up your, uh, your playing money, you know. Uh, and they, the big prize was a $64,000 question, right? So... They would put you in the isolation booth so you couldn't hear any prompts from the audience. You couldn't get any hints. What a gimmick. I love and it made the show famous, quite right. frankly. You know, and the, of course the lights go down and the music plays and uh, uh, I'm just gonna run it. That by the way, that's uh Paul March. Uh he was not this was a radio program for many years, and then yes. on TV. I think the guy who did it on radio had there was some either there was some issues with him or something. Anyway, they decided to get an actor, uh, and Hal March was a, a fairly well known actor at the time to uh, uh, host the show, and uh, he's quite good. And quite frankly, there are a whole bunch of different. Uh, they they never had somebody on for the entire uh, show. They'd always bring him back. They get a couple of answers right until they got to yeah. like. Eighty dollars or thousand uh, dollars, and then they had certain levels where they didn't lose it all, but then they would go up for right. another six thousand dollars before. And typical. It was, big, it was big money in those days. T typical. What sixty four thousand bucks was a lot of money. Right. That was uh, like five years' salary or something right. back in nineteen fifty five. Sure. But the the interesting thing I found about this show was that um, it was so simple. The basic premise of it is, of course, you pick a category. And they're going to ask you general questions about that category. And watch this as they choose the woman chooses a category here, and they the way they use this this is this is before computers. They have an IBM card. Um, sort I can't remember what it's they a used sorter. to call them. It's a sorter. <laughs> I actually used it, my first job. My first job uh, when I got out of the service, uh, I worked for a company. And uh, that was the input output device. It was cards. You would make yep. punch cards, and they would sort them. And that, then that was that was high technology, right? <laughs> you just saw a game show with high technology for 1955. Anyway, do me a favor, right? Before we go, yeah. scan forward to the uh, the first scene in this show uh, that has the uh, the isolation booth. Oh, I just want people to see the the drama. That the isolation booth. I think, this, I think this guy goes into it. At some point, yeah. Does he? 
I, I think this there is the guy. Go. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, well, so let's look see, at, let look me at get that. back a little bit where he goes into it. We'll watch it in the background. He's yeah. still outside. I think he's probably at four or five thousand dollars here. I mean, probably not even at four thousand dollars. I think by six or eight thousand dollars, they go into the isolation booth. What it, whatever right. it was, it was a very dramatic point. And as you yeah. pointed out, they would break the show. You know, you get to a certain point and they'll come back tomorrow right. and we'll finish the game. You know, that kind of thing. Very well done uh, game show. Yeah. And, um, and, and quite frankly, other than that, the questions are the kinds of things that almost anybody can answer. Kind of reminds me of Jeopardy, you know? Right. And uh, Hal March, I disagree with you. Hal March is a great host. He was a little bit over the top. Uh, he, he jumped up and down almost before the, the contest. Yeah, he, was, he, was, he was not more over the top than, say, Groucho Marx, who was laconic, but he, yes. he would tell he would tell risque jokes yeah. and, and things like yeah. that. But I, I thought, thought he was a, a pretty good host. How amazed he is. He probably just won uh, uh, 2,800 bucks. Yeah. Okay, and at some point they evened it out. And I was like, you know, uh, two, four, six, eight, and then eventually it gets to an even number, and th so that they can go to like two thousand, four thousand, eight thousand. Well, it was. I I think the premise was that you win a certain amount of money and it doubles every time. Yeah. Your your next question doubles the prize. No, but they evened it out so there would be zero, zero, zero at the end, so it wouldn't be the sixty-four thousand and fourteen well, dollar prize. I recommend that everybody watch this show. Yes, it's to fun. find out rather than you and me trying to figure it out. By the way, so just as some some factoids, it wasn't on it was only on after like three or four years. Scandals hit Ben Kleiber and yep. his one name. But it wasn't just sixty four thousand dollar question. It was I think it was twenty one. There were two or three others. Sure. And the, and the most famous of all of the uh contestants, I don't well they should I think it was a sixty-four thousand dollars question. Well, because they got to choose their own categories, was uh, uh, Dr. Joyce Brothers, whose yes. category was, was boxing, yeah. and there was a lot of there was a lot of controversy. Well, how could she know that? She actually was a real. She really knew about boxing. In fact, uh, after yeah. the show was over, not only did she become a a standard uh, uh, guest as a psychologist and things like that, but she also uh, was at ringside on a couple of fights, hoping to call the fights because she knew her history. She was really, 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 really smart. Yeah, uh, but he had yeah. the booth, so you just saw, saw the booth. Big, big drama getting into the booth. Uh, one last point for everybody before we go, and that is when you watch this on celebrate on, uh, pardon me, Vintage Film Channel, uh, YouTube uh, slash Vintage Film Channel. Take a look at the comments. A lot of people have watched this and made comments and, and pointed out that this is very likely a pilot show or maybe a first episode. Um, it's not complete. I don't think there's any title sequences in this particular uh, video, but it's a whole, it's a whole show with uh, 25 minutes of, of video. Yeah, three but the comments, are, the comments are wonderful. They're yeah. from fans like us who have just you know, wanted to, wanted to give their opinion. You got to read the comments on this. Also, uh, please remember uh, when you vi visit Vintage Film Channel or Celebrating Act 2 or whatever, uh, if you like it, say, I like it. If you don't like it, put the thumbs down. But why don't you subscribe because then you, you'll get uh, notifications on when new stuff comes up there and Grace is always putting up new stuff. So please uh, subscribe, uh, comment on the individual films and enjoy yourself. Yeah, and we'll see you next time when we review another interesting video or movie from the Vintage Film Shop. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.